hello Verbling, my name is Danielle Waters and this class is an intermediate level class and we are going to be reading different articles. So practicing our pronunciation, building vocabulary, and then doing a little bit of speaking after each article. Uh, so let me go ahead and welcome Christian. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. I'm good. Doing good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Christian, is this your first time with me? Uh, it is, actually, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, this is my second class today and my first day here, so... Uh, oh, welcome, welcome to Verbling. To yes, nice to meet you. Oh. It's, yes, it's very nice to meet you. So, Christian, where are you from? I'm from Spain. From Spain, awesome. Yeah. And tell me, um, what's your favorite thing about living in Spain? My favorite thing about living here, um, uh, I would say the maybe the weather. Mm, okay. And, and what the is the weather? And the uh, what? And the positive energy of, of of the people. Oh, cool. Good. Yeah. And what's the weather like? Well, it's uh, it's twenty seven degrees uh, Celsius today. <laughs> Are you and Fahrenheit? Is that is that warm? Uh, that's um yes. I don't know how. How uh, that uh, would be in Fahrenheit? Let me check that. In Google. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's what Google is great for. This is the Fahrenheit. So we have 27 today. <laughs> this means 80. Okay. You. Okay. Yes, that's a nice temperature. Yeah. That's a very nice temperature. It, it is, is it normally uh, 27 degrees? Is that a normal temperature? Well, uh, we. Kind of a jump, uh, you know, directly from winter to summer. Okay. You know? yeah. Okay. So no springtime. Well, we had a we had a lot of rain last week and mm -hmm. the week before, mm -hmm. but now we have um you know we have good weather. So uh, okay. yeah. Good. Looking forward for the summer. Good. Very good. Uh, our weather in Texas is normally um normally it's winter and then summer. Uh, yep. But this time, this time our summer still feels like winter. Okay. We've been, yeah, it's been a very, very strange summer for us. But okay. usually, usually our temperatures are um, 80s or 90s, which uh, so like 27 degrees Celsius or yeah. or higher. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whereabouts are you uh, based in Texas? I'm I'm in the south, well, north, south, east, southeast part of Texas. Okay. So along the coast. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm near Houston. If you're familiar with Houston. Houston. Yeah. You're close to Houston. Mm -hmm. or, or, okay. Good. Yep. Yep. Texas is a uh, huge, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yep. It's the biggest landlocked state. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, it's very nice to meet you, Christian. Welcome to class. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me say hello to Eduardo. Hello. Hello, Daniel. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Terrific. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I'm so glad. That's fantastic. Is there a reason why you are terrific? No, i just trying to use a different word each day. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's perfect, Eduardo. Well, welcome to class. I'm happy to see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, Alberto. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Good. So happy to see you as well. Okay. Um, let me say hello to Pum. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Yeah, I'm so tired now. <laughs> oh no, why? Uh, I I uh, I go I went outside all day and after I got home I studied I take two classes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. So you've been outside all day and then two classes on Verbling. Sounds like a busy day. Yes. Well, I'm happy to have you. Boom. Welcome to class. Thank you, Tisha. Uh-huh. Uh, let me say hello to Michael. 
get in. Hello, how are you? I'm super terrific. How are you? <laughs> oh, you're super and terrific. Yeah. Oh, well, I am I am fantastically wonderful. <laughs> fantastically wonderful. Can you say like that? Fantastically wonderful? <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe. It's probably very incorrect English. You would probably say, I am fantastic and wonderful, is how you would say it. Fantastically <laughs> wonderful. I need to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, if you are extremely, extremely good one day. Um, okay. <laughs> all right, Michael, well, welcome to class. Thank I'm you. happy to see you. Happy to see you as well. And hello, uh, Faisal? Faisal? Can you hear me? Mm. Okay, I don't know. All right, Anton, hello. Hello, Daniel. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. Good, good. Very nice to see you, as always. Um, and then Anne. Hello? Or on, maybe? Uh, I cannot hear you. You have your microphone. Oh, there you go. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. How okay, are you? Hello. I'm fine. Good, good. And is this your first time with me? Yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. Awesome. And how long have you been studying English? Um, I, I, I study in school, but uh, I, um, I don't speak so much. Mm -hmm. you know? That's okay. Yeah. Alright, so you're learning in school, but uh, you don't speak it uh, as much as you'd like. Okay? Yeah. Well, very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice Welcome to, to class. Okay, okay, I'm going to mute you. So just unmute yourself when you want to talk because there is a lot of background noise. Okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so guys, we are going to now uh, read different articles. So the first link that I want to give y'all is this one. Can everyone see Verbling? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen as well. So, mm, okay, let's have <laughs> Let's have Christian. Can you read? Oh, wait, let me zoom in. Very, very tiny. Oops. No. Zoom in. Okay, is that better? Okay. Yeah, I, yes, I can see it. Okay, perfect. Read that part, please. Uh, okay, so. Um, <laughs> Oniyan Kon. Russia, Russia has been dubbed the coldest village on earth, known as the Pole. Just a second, is okay. Uh, known as the the Pole of Coal, this northern Russian village averages minus fifty one degrees Celsius in January, mm -hmm. with uh, an all time record low temperature of uh, minus seventy one. Uh, and degrees Celsius in February of 2013. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, you can also say uh, it's negative 51 okay. degrees Celsius and negative 71. Okay. okay. Uh, but great on pronunciation. Okay. Any questions on this part, class? Dubbed. Okay. Dubbed, <laughs> yes. Dubbed. Dubs, dubbed means uh, you are given an official title or a name. Okay, 
So, uh, for example, I w uh, knight knight. Um, I don't know knight Lancelot or something. I don't know Lancelot or something. Okay. It's, it's when you're given a, an official title. I pronounce you? No? It's different? Uh, in, but pronounce you? Uh, yes, but that's usually used in weddings. Like, for example, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Okay. But that, that is also uh, used for, for movies, yes? It's like... Tell me. When, when when the movies are are I don't know are originally in Spanish and there is like a voice translation in 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 English or another language I don't know. Oh, um, okay, uh, possibly. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. So dubbed has two meanings. Mm -hmm. So yes, when it's changed to a different language for a movie. But that's not what it means here. Okay. We understand, class? Yep. Yes, yes. Perfect. Um, <laughs> okay. Good. Then let's continue. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and you can read the pictures, too. So... Let's have Alberto. Can you read this next part? Okay. Um, a dog cur curls up on wood shavings near a wood pile. The power station is forced to burn wood when coal is unavailable due to irregular coal deliveries. Mm -hmm. Living in as you can imagine, comes with some very interesting challenges. Eye glasses are known to breeze to faces. Batteries lose power very quickly. Cars have been to have to remain running during the day if they have if they are not parked in a heated garage. And even if there was a mobile phone reception the phone batteries would not survive the cold. Good. All right, guys, any questions on this part? Cur curls up? Mm-hmm. So usually it's referring to when you, when you curl up in a ball. You curl up your body. Does that make sense? So, like, when the dog spins around in circles... In circles and then lays down. So he curls himself up. Does that make sense? No? Um, y yes, I think so. Yeah, like yeah. on the picture we can see this mm -hmm. joke. Yeah, so it's when you when you kind of nestle you nestle yourself uh, like into something. So a dog curls up in his bed. Okay, it means he makes himself comfortable, he, he curls himself up. Yeah? Um, it's kind of like when you fit, you fit yourself to something else. Okay, so he's, he's fitting himself into the wood shavings. Okay? Does that help or no? It's like, for can I say something like, it, my cat curls up for like five minutes and then he he falls asleep. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um. He curls up for five minutes. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, he's kind of crazy. Is is moving <laughs> all the time. Curl up is uh the state of. Like, for example, uh, he curls up against my leg, okay? So he, he kind of molds uh, himself into, into me, okay? Uh, so um, when, the, when the cat is, is trying to find a comfortable spot, and then he curls up, okay? All right. Yeah. 
Uh, like cuddle, yeah, it's kind of like cuddle. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, guys? I can see if I can find um, a different explanation. Let me see. Uh, let's see if... Oops. Uh, no, nothing's being really super help helpful. Yeah, it's just simply, I don't know, it's just simply the position of, like, you're curled up usually in a ball. So you're snuggled against something, or you're snuggled in the covers, for example. Okay? Hopefully that helps. I don't know. <laughs> Does that help or no? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. All right. Other questions? Okay, we will continue then. Um, okay, let's have um, Poom, you can read this next part. Uh, let's have you read the descriptions um, under the pictures. Vehicles need to be left running when they are out in the cold. Good. Um, and this one? Wood burning stoves are used to heat homes in. in I can read it. <laughs> or your guess is as good as mine. I don't know the pronunciation of this city. Oi, oi, Miyakon. I I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Um, and okay, this one. <laughs> um, modern convenience conveniences are rare here. Many buildings are many buildings use outdoor toilets. Brew. Burr. Burr. <laughs> burr. <laughs> Do you know what burr means? Uh, when you feel cold. Yes. Burr. <laughs> yes, perfect. All right, Poom. Uh, Poom, you can go ahead and read uh, this paragraph as well. Okay. Because the growing season in Omyakon is so short, people don't often eat many fruits or vegetables. Their diet consists mainly of reindeer meat, horse, horse meat, fish, and milk from their farm <coughs> animals, even though fruits and vegetables are rarely eaten. Malnourishment is not an issue here. Good. Malnourishment. Malnourishment. What does Perfect. it mean? It means, uh, do you know what nourish, nourishment is? Nourish. Um, nourishment. Nourishment is when uh, you get good nutrients. You are, you are healthy from the nutrients of food. You are getting all the right foods, all the right vegetables, all the right meats. So your body is very healthy. It's very nourished. Malnourishment is when you do not have enough healthy food. So you're not eating enough or you're not eating enough of the right things. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, class, any questions from any of the pictures? Can you think uh, in other words with the prefix mal? It's like in Spanish, malfunction maybe, mal Yeah, yeah, malfunction means when it does not work. Yeah. Malfunction uh, means like when something breaks down or uh, it, it goes awry, so it doesn't, it doesn't work correctly. Yeah, we use the prefix here in Spain with a lot of words, mal. Same um, like instead 
uh, when it's grown, when it's not going like you want. Yeah, malnourishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Malnourishment, malfunction. Uh, I can't think of any others right now, <laughs> but okay. I'll let you know if I, if I can. But yes, we have we have a few too. Okay. We have a few too. Mm -hmm. Um, any other questions? No, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, let's continue. So let's have um, Eduardo. You can go next. Um, okay. A local spends time ice fishing for food. Mm -hmm. um, this one? Fishing provides a fresh source of food for residents of Miyako. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> This one? As crazy as it sounds, there are people whose livelihood depends on working out in the cold, such as that of this fish monger. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead and read this one. A herd of reindeer in a farmer's enclosure. Yep. Okay. Any questions, guys? <clears throat> With the photos, it's more easy to understand. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> um, all right, so let's go ahead oops, and continue. So mm, let's have who is next? Um, mm, mm, uh, Faisal? Hello, teacher. Sorry. Hello. All right, go ahead and read that for me. Sure. A Miyako is held to many unique, unique buildings, originally used as the power for reindeer herders. It is now home to 500 people with only one store to provide provisions to residents and one petrol station nearby. 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 Perfect. Great pronunciation. Okay, guys, any questions from there that we do not understand? Um, teacher, what is made of petrol? Patrol. Uh, I think it's like a gas station. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think this article is from Britain because they use Celsius. So I think a patrol station, I think, I'm assuming it's a gas station, but I'm not... Hold on, let me make sure. Um, this is an um, okay. View British English definition. Daniel. Yes. Petrol. Petrol is coming for petroleum, so yeah, it's coming. okay. So it is gas. Okay, good. That's what I assumed, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, it's a British term, but okay. Uh, patrol station. Interesting. Um, okay, let's continue then. So, um, oh, okay, on, or in, on, can you read the, under the photo? On, or on, and, yes. Hello? Yes, okay, read under the photo. What photo? Uh, um, do you see my screen? It's the yeah. house? Okay. So read yeah. this one. Oh, okay. Uh, a, a housekeeper, wooden house. A horse. A horse keepers. A horse keeper, wooden house. Mm -hmm. Whose phone is that? Oh, <laughs> that's okay. All right. Um, and continue with this picture. Um, pattern at the last bar, bar sometimes described as the loneliest bar on earth. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Okay, and uh, this picture. Oh, wait, that says the same thing. Um, let's have you describe this one. The petrol station on the way to Amiakun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, and since you did not read a lot, go ahead and read this one. Uh, first, one of the only ways to stay warm in uh, American, and it used to use out a necessity, not fashion. Traditional the boots are very popular in the region, but can cost a war of uh, 300 euros. Perfect. Great job. All right, guys, any questions on any of the phrases? Okay. Uh, if not, I'm going to welcome Ken. Hello, Ken. Yes, yes, hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, all right, so mm, we will continue. Uh, with uh, Anton. Uh, I think there are... Ah, here. I think this is the last one. All right, Anton, read that. Okay. Here are a few more photos for you to enjoy. Omicron is uh, a very unique place to live and companies offer tours of the area to those who are curious and want to experience it for themselves. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so uh, there's a few more pictures here that y'all can look at. Okay. Oh, just kidding. We have some... Oh, Anton, your phone. Your phone is ringing. Okay. Uh, okay. Daniel? Hello? Welcome to class. Daniel? Do you mean Dario? Oh. <laughs> On your name it says Daniel. Okay. What is your name? Dario? Uh, Dario, yes. Like Mario, but with D. Ah, okay. <laughs> no wonder you did not answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, are you are you new to my class? Yes, I'm completely new. This is my <laughs> first class. Okay, very good. And where are you from? I come from Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, how pretty. Okay. And how long have you been studying English? Well, I have started when I was 18. Mm -hmm. Now I am 28, but okay. uh, but I had uh, a lot of uh, gaps between okay. where, where I didn't uh, study a lot. Okay, no problem. Well, welcome to class. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we are on... Okay, so let's see. Anton, uh, are you on the phone now? Did you have to take a call? Mm, okay, I think you had to take a call. All right, uh, let's have Michael. Michael, finish this. Uh, I believe this is the last paragraph now. Um, although Omicom is most known for its bone chilling winters, the surrounding region is a popular touristic destination during the summer. Many companies offer offer or offer 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 <laughs> multi multi how did it multi multi multi-day tracks through the region so tourists can experience their breathtaking beauty. Good. Perfect. All right, guys, any questions from this paragraph? 
Trex comes from tracking? Yes. Okay. Yep. It's just the noun. Um, any other questions? Okay. All right. Um, okay, let me make sure that is the last paragraph. I believe, yeah, that one really is the last paragraph. Okay, so now, um, let's see. Mm, where is... Ah. Okay. Okay, so let me ask Ken. Ken, do you prefer the mm -hmm. hot or the cold? Uh, actually, I don't. I, I've never lived extreme weather uh, climate area, so hot like uh, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Up hot. to how extreme it is. <laughs> yes. So really extreme weather. Yes, like Georgia or Texas. <laughs> Ah, Georgia is okay because Georgia's climate is very similar to this area. Oh, okay, I'm familiar with muggy summer. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not sure. I've never experienced this kind of cold climate. <laughs> yes, this one is, is very, very extreme. Is, is it Siberia? Uh, like I'm not sure. No, no, well, no, no, this is in Russia. Ah, Russia, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, this is in Russia. Um, but if you had to choose, if you had to choose really, really hot or really, really cold, what would you choose? Mm, mm, maybe, I don't know, hot? Because I can use air conditioner. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Perfect, Ken. All right. Um, and Dario. Uh, let's see where. Um, okay. Would you be able to move um, to the coldest place on Earth? Would you be able to do it? It depends on how much do you pay me. <laughs> <laughs> how much will you pay me? Yep. Uh, how much how much money would you have to make to go to the coldest place on earth? Oh, I suppose a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and um, what if what if your family lived in the coldest place on earth? Would you want to live there with them, or would mm. you say it's too cold? No, I would say it's too cold and I, I can visit them mm -hmm. two or three times a year. <laughs> All right, good compromise. Good compromise. Okay. Um, all right, then let's go ahead and read the next article that I have for you guys. So, um, okay, this one. So here we go. All right, so we're going to look at ultimate things to do in Hawaii. So this is the to-do list if you ever go to Hawaii. All right. Let's Have you ever start. been to Hawaii? Have I? No. Yep. I wish. My my parents my parents don't want to visit Hawaii. They Why? have zero desire. And I think Hawaii is so cool. It's got volcanoes and beaches and tropical things. <laughs> so I want to go, but they don't. So <laughs> Why they don't? Why not? Um I don't know. I don't know. I asked them. My mom my mom doesn't really like the beach. But I keep telling her there's more to do there than just the beach. So maybe I should send her this article. Maybe okay. she'll be convinced. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let's have... Uh, 
Okay. Anton, you can start for us this time. Okay. Okay. Situated in the vast Pacific Ocean is at 2,400 uh, kilometer chain of island better known as Hawaii. Hawaii is unlike no other. Every island, atoll, and islet have once been a monstrous volcano, making each mm -hmm. one of these places unique in every way possible. When most people hear Hawaii, what usually comes to mind are the beautiful beaches of Waikiki, o Oahu, or the to the o oasis of Meiui. Yet many people haven't explored the Garden Isle, Isle of Kauai Kau Kau <laughs> of the volcanic hot spot of Hawaii. Perfect. Great job. Yeah, there are some hard uh, Hawaii Island words in there, but great job. Good mm -hmm. pronunciation. Um, okay, let's have uh, Ken go ahead and read... Um, this part. Okay. Uh, Oafu and Maui are only the beginning to what is ready for exploration on the beautiful islands of Kauai uh, and Hawaii. Having mm -hmm. been to all four major islands, I decided to post my top ten favorite spots to visit and explore on each island. Great. Okay, very good. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Any questions on the first three paragraphs, class? The structure of very first sentences, situation in the vast Pacific Ocean is, this whole sentence is a subject? Um, situated in the vast Pacific Ocean is a 2,400 kilometer chain of islands better known as Hawaii. Uh, I think Hawaii is actually the subject uh -huh. um, because you would be saying Hawaii is situated like if you if you rearrange the subject it would be Hawaii is situated in the vast Pacific Ocean um, it is a 2400 mm. kilometer yeah. chain um, or actually yeah yeah. It's a bit confusing structure for me. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Um, it still makes sense in English though. You can you can word uh, questions or sentences this way. Situated in the vast Pacific Ocean is but yeah, I think I think it would be to Hawaii. Because you would say uh, situated in the vast Pacific Ocean, comma, Hawaii is a two thousand four hundred mm -hmm. kilometer chain of islands, um, Okay, and you then you don't need better known as. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. But yeah, yeah. So the sentence structure is okay. It's just a little weird. <laughs> okay. okay. Any other okay. questions on grammar or sentence structure or phrases? Okay, let's read about Kauai. Um. So, uh, Ken, go ahead and continue because your paragraph was very short. Okay. Uh, being the oldest and smallest of the four major islands, Ka uh, Kauai has a lot of offer, a lot to offer for visiting a tourist. Adapt mm -hmm. the uh, Garden Isle, it really does live up to its name. Mount uh, Waialele at the center of the island receives over 452 inches of pre uh, precipitation a year, making it one of the, uh, the rainiest spots on this planet. I have carefully put together a top 10 to-do list while visiting Kauai. Okay, great job. Okay, uh, any questions on this part, class? Precipitation. Precipitation just means uh, rain. So they they received 452 inches of rain a year. Precipitation. I see. Okay. You'll hear you'll hear precipitation a lot in the news. Mm -hmm. On like the Weather Channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay. Okay. Let's continue with Dario. Uh, let's read number one. This scenic area on the island's northwest coast is one of the most breathtaking naturally made coastlines in the world. It offers some of the most beautiful beaches. The Pali cliffs rise as high as 4,000 feet, that is 1,200 meters, mm -hmm. above the beautiful Pacific Ocean. The coast can be enjoyed by hiking, boating, ki ki kayaks, and mm -hmm. by air, either helicopter or small airplane, a definite must see. Perfect. Okay, one small pronunciation. Uh, breathtaking. Breathtaking. Perfect, perfect. Great job. Okay, any questions on this part? Okay, then we will continue. Oh, that looks really pretty. Okay, <laughs> here's the word again. Uh, so let's have Christian go ahead and read that for me. Um, okay, so tap the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Waymania Canyon is 10 miles long and 3,600 feet deep. The canyon has a unique geology history. It was formed not only by the steady process of erosion, but also by a catastrophic collapse of the volcano that created Kauai. If you have been to the Grand Canyon, this is, this is extremely beautiful and def defini def uh, definitely, definitely mm -hmm. comparable. Mm -hmm. def defini definitely. What's definitely, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. And this word is geologic. Geologic. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any questions on this part, guys? Comparable. Uh, yes. Hold on. Let me see it in context. Uh, where is that word? Uh, last word. Thank you. Um, it, okay. If you've been to the Grand um, it means that... It, it's definitely, it looks the same. It, you can compare it to the Grand Canyon. So if you've seen the Grand uh -huh. Canyon, you basically know um, kind of what this looks like. Okay? I see. <laughs> okay. So it's comparing the two. It's, it's uh, saying the similarities. It's comparable to one or the other. Okay. One other question? Nope, me. Nope, nope. Uh, What's um, dub? Dubbed. The first word. Uh huh. Dubbed yeah. means remember it's when you uh, you give something a title. So uh, this area has been dubbed the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. So um, it has been given the title of Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Pacific. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It's when you name something. You give it an official title. You name something. Uh, you give it an official title or name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right. Uh, let's have. Um, let's have Michael, you can read the next part. This, this beautiful trail, mm -hmm. trail snakes along the spectacular Nepali coast. The trail extends for 11 miles, 18 kilometers, from Key Beach to Kalalu Valley. Hiking the Kalalu Trail is one of life's most spiritual adventures. How do you read this one? Adventures? 
adventures, mm -hmm. full of wonder and ah uh, ah. Uh? Good. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. At nature's beauty, it takes roughly one day trip if you are in tip-top shape. <laughs> Good. All right. Questions from this part. Ah uh, is awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it means you're filled with amazement. Awe is like um, you are filled with amazement. So you you are amazed at something. You think something is just wonderful or awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and why K has apostrophe? Apostrophe. I have no idea. Okay. It's, Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Hawaii. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, from Kei Beach to yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it's just maybe it comes from a mix of two languages or something. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how Hawaii got its name or who named the beaches. <laughs> All right, what does tip-top shape mean? Maybe very tip, at the very tip of this. <laughs> <laughs> Good I, I, shape. I yeah, it means that you're, you're, in, you're very, very healthy. You're at the best, you're in the best shape of your life. You're in the best shape uh -huh, I see. of your life, okay. Means you're really, really physically fit. Oh, you're alive. You're very physically fit. Okay. Um. All right. Let's continue with this one. All right. Let's have Faisal. Yes, sir. Can you read that? Sure. For the Hale State Park is a historical state beach park that offers breathtaking views and landscape. The state park is also home to famous whistling sand dunes. These dunes actually wither when you start doing them. It's just a little bit unique to your body bigger. The only way to the park is via via, via, uh, via or via how to pronounce this? Via. Via. Mm -hmm. Via via dirt road which has many roots and perfilous uh, perfilous. This makes it difficult. This makes it this makes it difficult for non for WD vehicle to access the area. The park is located to north of the Pacific Middle Range facility. Okay, good. Uh, this word is potholes. Potholes. Mhm. Mm this is four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. Yeah. So you would say four-wheel mm -hmm. drive vehicles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and this word is missile. Missile. Mm-hmm. Okay. So question questions on this. Four wheel drive is the same as SUV? Uh four wheel drive I think just means that um you can operate the the wheels individually, I think. Yeah, with traction in the four wheel. Yeah. In the four yeah. wheels, yeah. Yeah. So I don't think it. I don't think it always has to be an SUV. Okay, I don't okay. think. Okay. I got you. What is? <laughs> what is? Uh, ruts and potholes. Ruts and potholes. Um, oh, pot pothole is like um, those big the big holes that are not supposed to be in the road. So they are specifically in the road, um, and ruts ruts are very similar. They're also um, in the road, but it's more like a animal trait or something. 
uh, I don't think so. It's not. It's not from an animal. Usually it's like because cars keep going over the same track over and over and over. So um, there's like an indention. It's a little bit deeper, okay? But it's not necessarily a hole, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just from the continued use of cars constantly going that exact same path. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Okay. Any other questions? Okay, then we are going to have, uh, da, 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 da. let's have Anton, uh, or no, sorry, not Anton, you've already read twice. Let's have, um, on, you can read this next part. Le Mahole is, uh, uh, Botanical garden and nature preserve on the north shore of Kauai. Mm-hmm. The name comes from Lima Holi, which means turn hand. In the Hawaiian language, Lima Holi lies within a typical valley covering three distinct distinct ecological zones. The garden contains a wide range of native and pollination introduced, pollination introduced plant as well as taro terrace that orig- originate back to the early pollination settle. Both American Best Nature for botan- Botanical Garden is definitely will are you and your close ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a few uh, pronunciation mistakes. Ecological. Ecological. Mm-hmm. And Polynesian. Polynesian. Yes. Okay, so. Questions, class. O oh, oh means a uh, kind of feeling of worship or something. Ah, oh yes. Ah can also mean like uh, a type of feeling for worship. Yes, like it's it's really when you're when you're amazed. Mm-hmm. You're in awe. Your awe is like amazed. You are filled with wonder. Mm-hmm. And you can't believe it. It's so it's so beautiful. You're in awe. You're mesmerized is another good word. Mesmerized. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yes, it can also be referring to your God. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay. okay. Are there questions? Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay, let's go ahead and have, um, Poom, can you read, uh, number six? The highlight of Hanakapil Falls is a very tall 300 feet waterfall nestled deep in the back of Hanakapil. Pai Valley. This breathtaking tour will take you on a four mile round trip through the beautiful valley, crossing numerous streams and experiencing the planet's life these falls have to offer. Definitely worth the hike. Perfect. Okay. Um, Alright, so questions on this? Do we understand nestled? Yes. Maybe nestled like kind of net or web. Um, 
Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, it means it just means when you're simply like situated comfortably somewhere. So it's mm -hmm. nestled. Okay, mm -hmm. so it it sits between um, what what is it? This valley. So it's nestled. It's nestled. Um, it just means it's situated. Uh, it's nestled right in this valley. So in the back part of this valley, between these two cliffs. Okay, it's nestled. That's why coffee brown called nest nestled. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Uh, um. Okay, nestled can also mean like what I was saying earlier. Like you can nestle. You can nestle up to someone. It means like um, kind of like up. you snuggle. Yeah, you curl up. You nestle up into someone. So here's a person, and you nestle against them. It means you're situated comfortably. You like being by them. Okay, you're nestled against their body. Okay, you can nestle, uh, nestle up to someone, or nestle against. Someone means you're like right, you're right up with them, okay? Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are almost out of time. Uh, okay, let me have, where did my article go? Okay, here it is. We have seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to all of those. Um, Ken, go ahead and read number number seven for me. Number seven, okay. Mm -hmm. Here is number seven. Scroll down. Okay. Uh, uh, po uh po Poip Beach Park. Uh, head to the south shore of Kauai and see why the travel channel, once named uh, Pipu Beach, America's best beach, Pipu Beach. Park is one of the most popular and safe, safest beaches on the, the island. In the inviting waters of uh, Poipu make it very popular with visitors. Local and even local marine life, it's not uncommon to spot uh, humpback, hump, humpback or whales uh, sporting offshore. Large honu, Hawaiian green sea turtle, also swim in these waters, uh, but po Poipu uh, Beach is uh, most famous for the endangered Hawaiian monk seals that sometimes uh, sus bath on the shore. Okay, good. Two pronunciation issues. Mm -hmm. uh, sunbathe. Sunbathe. Perfect. And hold on, where was the other one? Oh no, I forgot. Uh, oh. Hold on. Uh, oh, spouting. Where oh, spouting. Was, uh huh. Spouting. Spouting. Uh, spouting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spouting. Spouting off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any questions, class, on this part? Travel channel means channel for travel. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> kind of. She, oh, she, uh, ship, ships are often passed through this channel. Ships uh, are often passed oh. through this channel. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think it literally means uh, a channel on the TV. Like a TV oh, okay. channel. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I see. Yeah. Travel channel. <laughs> All right. And Dario, we're going to have you read really quickly number eight. Okay. Okay. Yes. The warm Pacific sun, rich volcanic earth, abundant mountain rain and cool trade winds of Kauai create ideal conditions for growing outstanding coffee. Kauai Coffee Company is Hawaii's largest coffee grower and the largest grower in the United States with over 4 million coffee trees grown on 3,100 Acres. Kauai Coffee Company is a true coffee estate. From roasting to packaging, 
this coffee estate always has tasting going on. Enjoy a fresh cup of one of Hawaii's best. Good, good pronunciation, Dario. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any questions from this paragraph? No, I can say that this coffee it should be the best, but I won't change for my espresso. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> coffee estate. Is the shop or company? Estate. Estate. Estate is like uh, no, I think it's like the. Mm, uh, how we can explain this? Hold on, the coffee estate. I think it's like the, the whole, the whole thing. They're all building. Like, yeah, they're all building like, when they actually do it, right? Yeah, like the estate is where where they're making the coffee. So it's the plantations and the mm -hmm. the building and the the whole right. process. So it's not it's not where you buy the coffee. Mm -hmm. Kind of a farm, coffee farm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. I see. I got it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think it's called an estate because it includes like the the place where it's processed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not only a farm, but yeah. And it's mm -hmm. estate <laughs> in Italian estate. It's summer. <laughs> what? In Italian, in Italian estate mm -hmm. is is spelled estate, which means oh. summer. Oh, that's confusing. Yeah, estate in Italian is means summer, and it's spelled like <laughs> it's spelled the same, but it's different, different meaning <laughs> and a different pronunciation. A different pronunciation. Yeah. How funny! <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I see Rosario that you joined me in the last five minutes. Oh, of class. <laughs> when is your next class? Oh, uh, so, it's uh, later today at twelve, I think. Twelve. So you can see me again at twelve. <laughs> 12 your time, right? Yeah, my time. <laughs> Not in Italy. I and think it's are, like 8. You're in, where are you at? In Texas? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... Eight, so I think it's... Is it 11 p.m.? Uh, no, no, it's no, 12 so, p.m. No, here. No. I swear. All done, all done. So 12... <laughs> and you say it's what time is going to be? I think it's 8 p.m. your time. I think. No, okay, yes. Right now it's at 6, yes. So in about two hours. Okay, one hour. One hour. Seven. One hour. So it's seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. Right. All right, guys. See you later then. See ya. Bye, guys. See you. Bye.